In Wicomico County, the future of the Board of Education is in the hands of voters this election day. A referendum will allow voters to decide how the board is comprised moving forward. As WBOC's Bill Mitch tells us, many say it's one of the most important decisions people have to make this year in the voting booth. The men and women who sit in these chairs and make up this board make decisions that impact the lives of children who attend school in Wicomico County. But until now, parents and voters have never been the ones to decide who sits in these chairs or gets their name engraved on these plates. This election day, voters will decide how the Board of Education is made up in the future. A very important decision according to the district's new superintendent. Well, I do think it's important that everyone has the opportunity to express themselves in this area. Um, this is a decision that will be made by the community. The community will have three options on the Board of Education referendum. Option one is to keep things the way they are, meaning the governor will continue to appoint the Board of Education members. An option, the Wicomico County chapter of the NAACP, is encouraging people to choose. Option two calls for the Board of Education to be elected by voters in the future. An option that parent Mark McGyver is so passionate about that he recently spent the day putting up signs. They uh, can decide who will serve on that school board and who will uh, make decisions about their children's education. And that's extremely extreme. I, I don't know if there's any more important uh, option out there. Option three is a hybrid of the two. Five members would be elected and two appointed by the Wicomico County Council. No matter what option is voted in, the superintendent wants voters to keep one thing in mind. Those who choose to be part of the Board of Education, who choose to serve in that capacity in the community, should do so with one thing in mind, and that is that they're making decisions based upon the best interest of students. It's now up to the voters on the 8th. I'm Bill Mitch for WBOC News. Now for the Board of Education vote to take place, Governor Hogan had to sign a bill into law allowing for that referendum. And that bill, uh, Senate Bill 145, was signed on April 26th of this year. We'll be right back.